If people in the games industry thought that the Sweet Baby Ink controversy would just be there for a few days and then go away quietly, they could not have been more wrong because they have done so much damage to themselves by their employees going out there, starting a harassment campaign, and the Streisand effect then took control. With so many people realizing exactly what this company does, a consulting company who goes in with different developers and decides they need to make some changes, some recommendations to make it more inclusive, more diverse. Verse. Make sure you're keeping up with all those DEI requirements for your social credit score. And now, with the Sweet Baby Inc. Detected Steam Group that really kicked this entire thing off, now reaching over 300,000 followers, it looks like we have another game where we know Sweet Baby Inc. was involved in and they made big changes. And now, that's created its own controversy. Rumor, Compulsion Games race swapped their main character after hiring Sweet Baby Inc. And this story comes to us from Mark Kern Grums, who's been all over this thing, and he gave us an exclusive. Microsoft Xbox mandates changes at studios, hire Sweet Baby Inc., and erases white characters. I spoke to ex-devs at two different studios who say DEI is ruining and altering games and studio culture. Changes happened after Xbox meddling. And specifically, when we're talking about Compulsion Games, it's a game that we have right here that happens to have been on this list for a while now. South of Midnight, not recommended, and it was featured on Sweet Baby Inc.'s website. But let's continue. I have reasonably confirmed the devs I spoke to that used to work at studios in question, Avalanche and Compulsion Games. Both studios are also listed on the Sweet Baby Inc. website. Microsoft made a splash at GDC, announcing product inclusion guidelines for all of their studios. Alleged changes. Hiring of a DEI director. Hiring of a consulting firm to gender balance and review hiring promotion policies. Hiring of Sweet Baby Inc. to work on the published games. One of the biggest changes of the game were the alteration of the, game char or the character creation system to remove gender differences, allow for random swapping of distinct male and female body, body parts on and on. The main character was, sw was swapped shortly after Sweet Baby Inc. involvement from white to black. And now we're hearing more about Compulsion Games, specifically about the person they decided to hire to be their community manager. Compulsion Games community manager Katie Robinson claims, I hate gamers after previously claiming white male gamers were a mistake. And wouldn't you know it, this is the person in question has gone protected immediately as people started finding what this person says about gamers, what this person thinks about white people. And they deleted their entire account for a while, deactivated. Now they're back, but still protected. Look at this. She, her, by pan, womanist, DEI consult, compulsion games. And just wait until you see. Again, it, it seems like every single fucking person that works in any position of power, especially when it's managing communities or marketing, anything like this, they despise you if you're a gamer and you're a white male. That is the one thing that all of these game companies seemingly have in common. As brought to public attention by ex-user Screamer RSA and further highlighted by former World of Warcraft team lead Mark Kern, Robinson announced she was the community manager for Compulsion Games back in September of 2023. I'm happy and proud to announce I've joined the amazing team at Xbox, very own Compulsion Games, as their new community manager. Well, it looks like we have some history for this person. The community manager, the studio that race swapped their main character after Sweet Baby Inc. involvement, says she hates gamers and says that Asians are white adjacent. Uh, Asian and white, aka white adjacent. You have this one right here. Honestly, I hate gamers. And South of Midnight, again, is that game in question with the race-swapped main character. But it continues to go on from there because we have some interviews from this person. Look at this from back in 2020. Pe people keep finding out more and more about how racist and anti-gamer Compulsion Games community manager can be. I should mention Compulsion Games... The same ones that did this gigantic virtue signal when they put the warnings before the Tomb Raider games about this might be offensive nowadays, just completely and totally cucked. But listen to this. To really get a sense of who she is, though, look at her feed. Her tweets and retweets are both blunt and fearless, and they might not be for everyone. Yeah, very fearless to protect your Twitter account. Robinson is okay with that. You're not going to tickle some people's fancy being outspoken or tweeting things like I do when I say white male gamers were a mistake, she says. 
but her message on behalf of marginalized communities, whether celebrating black voices, protesting against ableism, or advocating for women's, queer, and indigenous rights, will catch your attention, and for a good cause. We're now seeing, once again, just like we've seen so many times over the last couple of weeks, these people go into damage control mode. They protect their Twitter accounts. I'm sure they'll tweet out something, some sort of clarification. It'll get annihilated. And it'll just be the same old thing. Games journalists and game developers defending these people who want white male gamers out of their space. They don't want to make games for you anymore. They don't want you to play their games. They fucking hate white men. That's the bottom line. And now once again, we have Sweet Baby Inc. wrapped up in this entire thing after coming in, race swapping a main character. And now the person that this company, who also hired Sweet Baby Inc., hired as their community manager, is a total and complete lunatic. But I guess... Why should we be surprised at this point? What do you guys think about this? Let me know. Why would you hire somebody that hates your core fucking audience? That's a question that's being asked of everyone in the games industry right now. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.